I'm not happy with you at all. I'm sorry, darling. Don't be upset with me. I'll make it up to you, okay? Have you forgiven me? Of course, dear. You know I cannot be mad at you for long. I hope you were able to rest. Ma even went to the market just for your sake. She wasn't happy when I told her you weren't going to make it. Oh, I'm so sorry. It wasn't intentional. That was so nice of Mama. Always giving me the princess treatment. Of course, you're my princess. The queen of my heart. Now you're making me blush, my king. James, you didn't tell me that this your girlfriend. Is this beautiful now? Are you sure you are the only captain of this ship? My sister, don't you have any sister or cousin? I am single as such, you know. <laughs> you must be MD. James' best friend. You're such a funny man. MD, meet my girlfriend, Cindy. Cindy, this is MD, my best friend. Pleasure finally meeting you, MD. The pleasure is my, our beautiful girlfriend. She's not our girlfriend. She's my girlfriend and mine alone. Go and get your own girlfriend. I don't blame you now. It is not your fault. It's because you have girlfriend that you can be talking to anyhow. In fact, I am going out now to get a girlfriend. Here the report you asked for, sir. Are they up to date? Yes, sir. Okay, I need you to go deliver a package for me to my fiancée at her office. Sir? I am sure you are not deaf because I don't and I will not repeat myself. I'm sorry, sir. It's just that there's a lot of work on my desk that needs to be done before closing hour. So what are you saying in essence? That you wouldn't go deliver any message? Is that it? No, sir. I could get the delivery guy to deliver the package so I can finish up the work on my decks in time. Else, I would have to stay over time, sir. And it's always difficult getting a cab that is going my way late in the evening. You must be very stupid. I am sending you on an errand and you are telling me that I should send the delivery boy. Didn't I know there was a delivery boy before I asked you to go make the delivery yourself? Are you calling me daft? No, sir. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean to upset you. I was... Oh, shut up. Take this back. The address is in it. And do it with care, okay? It's for my fiancé. Don't mess it up. Okay, sir. I don't know why this man has chosen to frustrate me. What do I do now? I promise mama I'll be back early. Oh, God. What kind of job is this? James, how far now? Andy, what a pleasant surprise. You didn't tell me you were coming to my office today. I was in the neighborhood, so I thought to check on you. In fact, it was God that sent you here. Please, can I ask you for a favor? Okay, what do you need me to do for you? Please, I have a lot of work on my decks, and staying over time is not an option. You know the level of insecurity in this committee. Please, I need your help to help me deliver this package. The address is inside. Please, handle it with care. Okay, now, that's not a problem. You have to give me money for delivery. Just go. I will refund you double of whatever you spend. Okay, now, let me be on my way. I will call you when I get there. Oh, thank you, my friend. I owe you one, man. Wow, what a pleasant surprise. MD, what are you doing here? James, your heart rob sent me here to deliver this package to you. That lover boy, he didn't even mention it was you he was sending me to. Really? Wow. Thank you so much. I don't have enough airtime. Please call him to inform him. I delivered the package to you already. Okay, I will. Thanks a lot. Hello, Henry. How are you doing today? I am good, my love. How are you doing too? Did you get the package I sent you? Yes, dear, I did. What's your relationship with the guy you sent to deliver the gift to me? He seemed nice. He works for me here at the company. Okay, thanks dear. The gifts are lovely. You didn't have to. No, sweetie. A damsel like you deserves all the beautiful gifts in the world. Oh, thanks dear. I appreciate it a lot. Don't mention, sweetie. 
I will talk to you later. Hi, dear. Are you still at work? Hey, baby. How are you doing? Yes, I'm still at work. Do you want to come join me? Wish I could, dear. Yeah, babe. Speaking of work, I had never really asked you where you worked. Really? I never mentioned it. Yes, you never did. Wow. Thought I did. I work at Harry and Co Limited. What? Sorry, I didn't hear you clearly. Harry and Co Limited. Okay. I think I've heard of it before. Okay, dear. Sorry. I need to go now. I have a lot of work on my decks. I will talk to you later. Bye. Oh my God. I can't believe James works for Henry. What am I going to do now? How do I explain to James that my parents chose a husband for me against my will and I can't go against them? Because if I do, I might never get to see the love of my life again. James, oh no. What do I do now? Look how radiant you are looking today. I love the outfit of yours. It suits your skin color. Hmm. Mr. Sweet Mouth. Thank you for the compliment. And thanks again for the gifts you sent. I have told you to stop thanking me. You deserve that and more. When you finally move in with me as my wife, you will get the whole world if you need it. The whole world? Oh, that is it for? Didn't you know the Bible says, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world? Who has the entire world will lose his or her soul. And I don't want to lose my soul for mere earthly gifts. Hmm. Preach, preacher. I didn't know you were a church person. I am surprised you know the scriptures so well. Well, I don't believe a thing that book says. I just know one thing for sure. I will treat you like the queen that you are and get you whatever it is you desire. You don't believe in God? Hmm. I can't marry an unbeliever. I'm very sorry. Maybe you should look for an unbeliever like you to marry. Come on, babe. I was only joking. Don't you have any sense of humor? You have taken something this small so serious and getting upset already. It seems you actually don't want me here and just pretending to like me. Because of our parents, I will leave if you don't want me here. You don't have to leave. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were joking when you said it. And the way you said it, you sounded so serious. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. It's alright, but tell me something. You were very quick to say you couldn't marry me. Is there another man in the picture? Do you have someone else you wish to marry? Tell me the truth. I can handle anything. Let me know if I am wasting my time, please. Why would you say that? I thought I had apologized for that episode. It was a simple misunderstanding. Now you're the one taking things too serious. It is not like that. I just wanted to be sure you and I were on the same page. You have nothing to worry about. Give my regards to your parents. It's getting late. I will take my leave now. Alright, I will. Bye. Oh, thank God he has finally left. He sounded like he knew something was up. Or has my mom told him about James? Hmm. I hope not. I pray it's not what I'm thinking.